What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Lil Corey, one of your back again with another video. Hey man, I'm finna get a tone with the video hot right in, man. I'm finna get all this little morning routine that I be doing. Y'all feel me? How I be getting the curls on fleek. Uh I'm finna do a little face wash for y'all and that thing. How I keep the, uh my face clear, keep your skin clear type situation. This is a simple one. Uh, I can show y'all the products I use and stuff like that. You feel me? Man? Usually I use like a. Uh, first of all, I probably use not even. I I rock with Cantu sometimes, but I usually use a Cantu leave-in. But I'm using this leave-in right now because I ran out of. Uh, God darn it! This the shampoo. Hold on, let me switch bottles. All right, now, all right. <laughs> uh, um, I leave this. Use this leave-in conditioner, and uh. Go over my head with some oil. I can use the black castle oil or uh, or some coconut oil, something like that. Use your oil of your preference. And then I come in, man, I'm doing a lot of talking, but I got the uh, cream and I got the eco style gel. You feel me? This is really all you need, just like four products, really. Uh, choose your own, but first of all, I'm gonna go ahead. And I'll smack this face up real quick. So what I got right here is just some some um some black soap. African black soap. Simple, real simple. Get the job done. Keep your skin keep your skin pure and fresh. Feel me? I ain't even really got into all the products yet. If y'all got any product kit recommendations. Y'all let me know, because I ain't going to get on the internet and, you know, lie to y'all, nothing like that. Uh, I use a couple of them little facial cleaners and stuff like that that you can find at the local stores. But I ain't, I ain't really got into my bag when it comes to that yet. You feel me? Right now, this is, I'm making it work with the black. I, so, but you just want to go through and get a good lather. And then it rinse. Sometimes I do this before the curl routine. Sometimes I do it so I can like wipe off all the curl stuff off my face. So I just mm, I don't do it. I don't do it after too often because I just feel me on the but cool. You feel me? Simple. I got a beard, so I be out there. I always go in and double check the rinse because soap be in my beard. So it'd be a hassle for me. Sometimes, but it's all good. Let me get it. Uh, so bet, bet, bet. Here we go, here we go, y'all. Here we go. So this ain't. Uh, so usually I just wet my hair. Like right now, you see it got it's a little curly, but I'm gonna go ahead. Wet my hair, get it nice and wet. Sometimes I use a lot of water, sometimes I don't. You can like kind of push all the old product to the front and squeeze your hair to kind of get it out some. If you want a more fresher, curly look. But this product is supposed to not build up that bad. So sometimes I, sometimes if I'm running, uh, if I don't feel like getting my hair soaking wet, and I don't want for us to just be wet, and I know it's cold outside, I just, you know, I won't wet it as much. I won't be doing all this. Yeah. But also the fact that my hair getting longer, me wetting it a lot, kind of give me that the ability to, to uh give it movement and get it, add more weight to my hair because I gotta do the uh I'm gonna show y'all at the end what I do. But y'all can see my hair kind of clearing out some it's 
Still got the look, little look on it. Cool, cool, cool. So then I want to come through right here. Grab some of this right here. I'm just leaving that. I don't want to put too much. It's like a damn amount, but really I'll put a little less. Because I, I ain't got that much hair right now. So then I'll just, first of all, I get the leaving and then everywhere. And then you can start, well, I do man, I push man to the front. Help my curls get defined. So it was kind of like laying and flat. And it's gonna kind of push my curls together. Cool. That should be cool. If I did it a little bit longer, I'd probably have better results. But. I don't really do it that long. So then I got a little bit of black castor oil. Uh, come right here, put it on my edges. And then I go ahead and lay it in my hair. Y'all don't really need too much of this because oil spread. So, you me? Just kind of lock in that leave-in conditional moisture. Get my hair a nice smell because this, uh, this is actually the peppermint. And making black castor oil. So my hair a nice smell. Give it a shine. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and keep doing like this because this right here is y'all see my curls forming already. Just pushing those curls, locking them in, defending them, versus me just doing like this and it ain't no definition going on. You feel me? Don't ask me how this works. It just worked for me. I go ahead and grab a little bit of this. Uh, I don't ever like to use too much product, so I just got this much. Put it in. I still think that is too much. Still, like I said, I don't really like it. a lot of products in my head, so I'll bang it. If I may say get too much out of it, wipe it off. Go in here, the final curls again with the leave in. Get them, I almost do it almost like I do my wave. You feel me? If I, my hand was a brush, if my hand was a brush, I'll be, you feel me? I'm brushing my hair in a pattern that my wave goes. But then I got, I use these amount of gel because the gel is what holds it into place. Um, and define it even more. I use the most gel at the top because obviously I got more hair at the top. And then also, uh, the top is the, you know, the, the most part that's seen type situation. So, when they're looking at your curls, they're going to notice it at the top first. So, that's the way I think. At least. So I make sure my top is extra crispy. The sides and stuff, I, you know, I try to get them done well, but ain't really too much hair to work with down here. And then just kind of want to shake. I ain't really got the much hair to be shaking for real, for real, but y'all see they coming together. I don't even, my hair is longer, so I ain't even got the curls kind of look spiraling right now. They get to that part, to that state in life. But they're gonna, I got real bad shrinking, so they're gonna shrink, get tight on me, and be real to fire. But yeah, man, it's just, I like to keep it quick and simple. I ain't gonna do too much, so I take my products. This one got a bit extra excess product on it. I'm gonna wipe this one off. 
sit right here, come back, look. Clean it out. Let me just put my product back, man. And then what I like to do is come in with a paper with some tissue. I like to get it from us, you know, from my sides. Wipe off the excess from my sides, wipe off the excess from behind my ears. Wipe off the excess from the back. You know, I don't want all this product that's all over the face, you feel me? Try to clean up a little bit. Of course, I'm going to come in with a Clorox wipe and do the real job. But, you know, let me do a little something right now. And then, as y'all can see, my line to be getting messed up. Otherwise, if I just leave a barber or not, because the fact I'm pushing my head forward, my hair forward. So I come in with my comb and draw that line, and then I just look at where my line is at. You see, I push it down forward. And then I just kind of come through, sweep. And give myself an extra line, and I give myself a line with the comb. The access, come back and grab it. Sometimes maybe come out better than others. So I ain't even got no liner right now. In general. And I'm gonna put away the oil for y'all, but of reality, a lot of times I just use my uh, coconut oil or my olive oil on my face, but sometimes I will use black castor oil. But I most definitely wanna add that to your beard. Help the beard grow and get strong, stay, stay thick. Add on your mustache if you want to, too. Yeah, now my beard feels uh, smell fresh, easy to comb through, because you know, obviously that oil will make it very manageable. Just give me the sign I'm looking for, y'all feel me? Give me the sign and definition that I'm looking for. And as y'all can see, I'm already like looking fresh, way ten times fresher. Already, man. I ain't even slapped the oil on myself yet. So grab this olive oil and uh come me over once I grab some of that. Let me grab this real quick. Just be your basic cooking olive oil type situation. Uh, put it on my eyebrows. Y'all don't want to put too much. It's kind of use light amount. Work the access on my stomach. There ain't no point in letting it go to waste. And there you go, man. A simple, but effective. Morning routine, man. Hey, thank y'all for tuning in and watching the video, man. Hey, y'all subscribe to the channel. Like, share, all that, man. I appreciate y'all. We on the road to 1K subscribers, man. Let's do it. Let's do it, man. Gang, I'm out.